Hi boys and girls, I'm coming to you from my home garden in Hopewell, New Jersey. And uh, today's activity um, your, for your garden lesson is going to be to create your dream garden plan. And I'm going to explain to you a little bit about how to do that. And I have to tell you that I have been very inspired just by coming up with this lesson plan. I am making plans to change my whole garden here and I can't wait. And I'm going to share it with you, my plan. But first, I'm going to show you what uh, the map of the garden that I use at school. Oop, let's uh, turn it this way. Sorry about that. So this is our entrance to the garden. And so this is cool. I have several copies of this, and I print one out for um, fall, um, spring, and summer. And I write down what I think I'm going to be planting in those beds. And sometimes I change my mind, and I always do it in pencil so I can erase. But this is great because what this is, it, it's a map that then I can follow. So this is my summer map. And so I try and get my summer map done because then that will help me to figure out where I'm going to plant spring things. So in these beds over here where you can see toms, these are all going to be tomatoes this year. So I'm not going to plant anything in these beds for the spring because I want those beds to be ready for the summer. So this is very handy. It's very practical. It's kind of like my journal about where I plant things. It also helps me to plan for the following season because what we want to do is rotate where our crops go. We don't want to put them in the same beds all the time because the soil will get very tired um, of the same plant being planted there, taking the same nutrients out of the soil. So this is the map I use for our garden. And I want to show you the one I created for my home garden. And I'm so excited about this. I just took some scrap paper, had some old bills in the recycling. Um, and so this is the plan that I came up with. I hope you guys can see this. Um, so of course your garden needs to get a lot of sunshine. We're actually doing some work right now. We're having a couple trees trimmed down because they got so big that they're shading half of my garden here. Um, so that work is being done next week. So that's super important. You want to have water out where your garden is. Right here, I put some water. We actually have water um, a little bit farther away on a little shed that we have, but I, I tucked it right in here just for you guys to see that you want to have water close by. I'm calling this the main gate. See how I put two little lines there? That's my gate. And look at this super cool curvy walkway I put in there. Rather than having straight lines, I thought, let me make this a little more interesting. So it's a big rectangle, um, and we have to have the fence up so that the deer can't get in. But what I've added into my garden here are some, I, I added flowers and herbs and vegetables that we love to eat here at home. So you always want to include that into your garden. And then look, I added a giant teepee right here. And I could make that out of bamboo. Um, I could cut some bamboo down at school. That's for my peas and my beans. Um, so that is going to be a beautiful structure in my garden. And look over here. I don't have raised beds over here. I'm just going to be planting these things right into the ground. My tomatoes, my husk cherries, my peppers. Um, those are all in the same family, the nightshade family. So I'm planting those near each other. And then I have these little stepping stones to walk into these little garden areas. Um, right as I walk into the garden here, I've put my flowers. So that's the first thing that I'm going to see. That's the first thing everybody's going to see when they walk in. And I would put my taller flowers towards the back of the garden and my zinnias and cosmos. And right in the front here, I might put some low growing nasturtium. Um, I've got some nice lemon sorrel along the walkway so I can bend down and nimble on that. So those are the kinds of things you want to think about, you know, height of plants. Um, where would be a good place to have them? I wouldn't want to tuck my, my lemon sorrel away in the back someplace. I want to have it right near my walkway. So my walkway sends me right over here and in the back of the garden, this is where I put some raised beds. And this is where I have some of my leafy greens, my herbs. 
I put in some popcorn um, because I love the way popcorn looks. It's wonderful for pollinators. That's the other thing I'm thinking about in my garden. Who else am I benefiting? You know, I, I know that it's going to be benefiting my family, but who else is it benefiting? All of those insects and pollinators. So what I want you to come up with is um, your dream garden. I want you to be inspired. I want you to think about your very favorite fruits and vegetables. I don't have any fruits in my garden here. Maybe I want to have, let's see, what are some of my favorite fruits? I love apples in the fall. Maybe I would add some apple trees in here. Um, uh, we have already have kiwis in my garden. They're not right in my garden here, but those are the things that I want you to think about. First, sketch it out in pencil so that you can change things. Um, and because you're going to be designing and redesigning this. And after you get a plan that you really like and, and you're happy with, then maybe add some color. Use some colored pencils and add some color to your beautiful garden. Hang it up on your wall so you can take a look at it every single day and be inspired that this is your dream garden. Take a photograph of it. You can post it to me, put it in your garden folder, and I'll get a chance to see it. So I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody comes up with. And I just want to remind everybody, because we're home a lot and we're with our families, I want you to make sure every day you're doing something to help your family out. Um, maybe it's helping with one of the meals. Maybe it's making sure your bedroom is tidy. Uh, if you've got pets, help take care of the pets. Do that to be a good family member. Hugs. Be giving lots and lots of hugs to your family. We all need big hugs right now. So I can't wait to see all of your beautiful gardens. And I will see you next time.